Hello guys, Shay here. Today I will be talking about why the trickshot community will continue to be ruined if we keep doing what we are doing. So, you know, we've witnessed this a lot, but I don't think anyone's addressed it like the way I'm about to. And that's kind of why I hope this video gets some recognition. One, because obviously it's good for my channel. You know, I ain't gonna lie, but another reason I feel like if, you know, people actually commit to what I say, the trickshot community will only change for the better. Now, when BO2 first came out, you know, everyone, there are no setup clips. Clips were way more valuable than they were ever in the community. The only times we can see something comparable to that is when like the first like month of a new Call of Duty, like Advanced Warfare or Ghost or whatnot. Now, clips were valuable, you know, no one set up, it was fine. People started setting up a little bit after, and that's where it got a little bit worse, but Ghost kind of held us up a little bit, and so did Advanced Warfare. Now, it's just complete garbage. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm just gonna tell you guys about why, you know, you just shouldn't set up. You know, people address this a lot, say that, you know, Trickshot's about, you know, doing so just showing off in the kill cam, you know, wrecking kids, slowly just destroy, just fucking shitting on them. But when you look at a lot of players, especially in Modern Warfare 2 and BO2, they just set up in locked lobbies or something. It's just stupid. It is so stupid. So first reason why it's stupid, people set up an SMD, you know, by doing locked lobbies or just mods. When I see SMD clips, I almost, like, if I see an SMD clip, I assume it's fake. Like, that's how bad the community is. I'm not even joking. There's barely any SD clips that are good today. Barely any clips that are actually good today. I'm surprised top fives are still going. So, you know, if you set up a carrier 1800, right? Other people who hit that, it's just not going to be as valuable. I remember Sor Carl, at time Sor at least, uh, hit a 1800 and when i saw that i was fucking blown away now you know i've i've witnessed shots like that and i'm just like okay that was nice and that's just because everyone kept setting them up you know there were like 1440s and stuff that weren't set up but that's why people like that are in red or phase you know there's a reason they're in those clans not too long ago there was a shot hit by sore glows or at the time sore glows and it was this little, it was on this little barrier, it was a glitch thing on Studio, where you can land on, you can just stand up on this little, little tiny barrier that's, you know, invisible. And he hit a really fucking nice wall bang, it was like a 1080, and it was just so clean, I'm pretty sure it was in free for all, and you know, that got on almost every top 5 out there. And it wasn't set up, it was completely legit, and now he's in red, because, you know, there's a fucking reason why he's in red. God damn, there are so many zombies. Okay, okay. But anyway, <laughs> that clip got so much value, because it was an original spot, it's pretty distance. It was just fucking nice. Sword Glows never hit that shot, let's just say that. Let's just say he never hit it, you know, never went for it, he never even thought about it. And then some guy called Zero Dext or whatever, some Zero member, because a lot of them fucking do this. A lot of clans just do this. You know, he sets up that the spot with the shot, same gamer tag, everything, but it's some like Zero member or some other clan. And then, like maybe two days after, Sword Glows hits it non-set up. No one's gonna fucking care because once something's set up, it just degrades the quality because we already saw it, you know. And you know, in this case, we probably have people doing the sword glow spot in lock lobbies. And now that spot is just fucking another spot in a Call of Duty map. It's not something special. The only special thing, even the window shot isn't special anymore. No one cares about the window shot anymore. Everyone sets that up. It's retarded. It is literally the most retarded thing. Setting up does not benefit you in any way. Unless, of course, you want to get in 10k team that's going to quit once the next Call of Duty comes out because they can't put out any content because all they did in the previous one was set up. <laughs> that's why clans end. Or most, at least. I know, like, there are some other cases where they got hacked or whatever. Some stupid like that. But, you know, that's the main case in a lot that I've seen, you know. They just can't put out content. They get dislike botted. Because, you know, it's it's nothing interesting. That's why red, I feel like red is probably at the top of the trick shot, you know. It, it's on top of the whole trick shotting scene. Um, I don't feel like FaZe is on top since they're doing more just vlogs and stuff at the moment. But I feel like they will be um, once BO3 comes out. I mean, FaZe is smart, you know. They start doing vlogs and stuff. They're like, alright, guys, Call of Duty is getting fucking boring. Let's just stop this. It's stupid. We're just gonna make vlogs and chill. 
Netflix and chill, you know, Ricky Banks. And uh, yeah, you're gonna have fun. And honestly, their videos, not all of them, but a lot of them are pretty fucking entertaining. And since that happened, you got these nerds that are playing Modern Warfare 2 that, you know, have EB on all their shots and act like, oh my god, phase is mainstream, let's just do it for the money. They get in a game with some guy who's a, you know, a phase fan who doesn't set up, he, you know, it's legit shots, whether it's a 720 or not, you know. I'd rather have an unset up 720 than set up 1440, I'm just saying. But right, you'll have, you know, some FaZe fan who just totally loves FaZe. He doesn't set up. He hits good clips, um, but he's just a random, right? And then you got this, uh, I'm just going to say, a Saw member gets in a game with him. And the Saw member totally just bashes on the FaZe fan, and the Saw member sets up every shot he has ever hit. And then, you know... The fucking phase member tries to defend himself and says, talks about how, like, you know, setting up's bad and shit, but then the song member's like, it's 2015. What the fuck does that even mean? That does not mean anything. How? I don't understand. It's actually insane how toxic the trickshotting community is. Um, and I find a lot of this toxicness from, like, toxicness. Is that even a word? I find a lot of it from, you know, people that set up clips and are just kind of dicks because they don't see the value in the art. Yes, trickshotting is a fucking art. I don't care if you fucking think it's stupid or not. Trickshotting is an art. You know, they just take that for granted, you know? That's like, it's like tracing a picture. That's ex that's what it, setting up shots is tracing a picture. That's exactly what it is. That's what it always has been. It's just stupid. The reason I'm playing zombies right now instead of fucking, you know, trick shotting. <laughs> I'm talking about trick shotting, but I'm playing zombies, you know, it's weird. But, you know, it's just because trick shots literally have no value. They might have the smallest value ever. Ever since, you know, Mono for 2, early in the day, phase natural shit, you know, that's where they had pretty low value, but then, you know. The O2 came along. So, I mean, all I guess we gotta do to, you know, make the community better is just not set up. That's all there is to it. That's why, you know, FaZe and Red don't do it, because they're fucking smart. But I feel like this is a better way to word it, you know? It's just tracing a picture. It's just, you know. I'd rather have them set up 720 than a set up 1440. That's all I gotta say. And, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Scarce, I love you. Just kidding, I don't. What? Okay, bye.